Brand new street and brand new me Side by side by friends I need Don't you tell me that you're in town, I already know Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel And welcome if you are new to my channel Today is going to be, I think it's part 4 Of the Betty Crocker cake mix review that I'm doing but today I'm doing, I think it's called, hold on, and I will show you. So this is the one that I'm doing today. It is the chocolate fudge brownie mix with a little bit of a twist because there always is when I do one. Um, but I do like to review these. So this was three pounds. So I just have to add to this mix 40 mils of vegetable oil, um, 75 mils of water and one medium egg. So, let's get cracking, shall we? Oh, no pun intended. So I've got my little bowl here. Now let's get the cake mix and follow the instructions. So it's 40 mils of vegetable oil, 75 mils of water and one medium egg or 80 grams of melted butter and two eggs. I guess that's probably going to make it a little richer, but I'm going to stick to the slightly cheaper version. So all of this is going into my bowl. So according to this packet mix, 40 mils of vegetable oil is three tablespoonfuls. So I've got my little measure here. So just got some vegetable oil. That's one. Two. Three of those. Now, so I've come back with my spoon again. So it's five of these. That's so one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And then it says stir the brownie mix until well blended there we go so that's what i'm going to do now just use a little metal whisk this is what it's looking like at the start of the whisking so my oven is on preheating i've just popped a little bit of oil into the bottom of my dish which I'm just going to oil all around using the pastry brush. And then I am going to line it. So I find if you just screw the grease proof up like this, it just fits so much easier into the bowl, literally. So you can just pop it like that. And then you're not fiddling around with the sides or anything. And then the cake mix will go in there really, really easily to save you fighting with that. I'll add that in a minute. This is all mixed together, look. So this is going to go into, into the uh, container. It really is quite thick, look, as you can see, as you see it plop down. There you go, like that, it's quite heavy and quite thick. So let's wait and see what this turns out like. Because I haven't made one of these before. So, you know, not the Betty Crocker ones anyway. Thank you. 
Now I normally do make my cakes myself, but I have discovered that sometimes it's a lot easier and even cheaper to buy the cake mixes. And I know you can get them cheaper than three pounds as well. I think Poundland do them. I'm not sure which brand it is though, but um, once I've finished reviewing the Betty Crocker range, I will go into a different one. All right, let's uh, spread this out a little bit. It's very thick, very thick indeed. But well, I'm sure in the in the cooking process, it will even itself out nicely. And of course, me being me, I'm going to add a little bit of a difference. So we have got some of this honeycomb. And I'm going to sprinkle it on top. I know you may feel that it's not giving the actual cake mix itself a genuine sort of hundred percent review, but you can still still be able to taste what it's like anyway. So there we are, that's that on. And that's what it's looking like before I pop it into the oven. As soon as it comes up to temperature, which is 160 degrees fan assisted oven, for I think it said 20, let me just double check, 20 to 25, did it say? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set it for 20 minutes on mine because it does, my oven does cook quite quickly and then I'll check it and as soon as it's done, I'll come back and show it to you out of the oven. Right, so fresh out of the oven, uh, I tested it at 20 minutes, it wasn't done, uh, so I popped it in for another four, so I did 24 minutes um, and so it's just firming up like as it cools down a bit. So I'll come back when I take it out of the dish. So I'm going to cut it into six so that we can have some today and some tomorrow. Fudgy, sticky, fudgy. One. It's very fudgy. Two. Three. Now we're going to put some of the cart door root chop chip ice cream with that. Is that enough ice cream, Luke, or more? more? scoop, please. Enough? Enough. And there we have it. So this is left for tomorrow, so it's all lovely and gooey and caramelly. And um, obviously I put the honeycomb on just to make it a little bit different and added the ice cream. And so I have turned the Betty Crocker chocolate fudge brownie mix into this. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everyone. See you in the next one. I'm off to enjoy. Bye-bye.